guys, this is Laura with Ribbon Bows and I. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel bow. We're going to start using our 5 inch bow maker and some one and a half inch program. So I'm going to start down here at my bottom edge and clip my tail into place right here, giving myself a little bit of tail running off the end. I'm going to take my scissors and using my bow board as my guide, I'm going to trim this edge parallel to my bow board and then seal my end. And now I'm just going to wrap my grogging all the way around my bow board real straightforward kind of way. Just going around and around until my next tail runs off the top left edge of my bow board. I'm just going to clip my loops into place, including this upper loop. And then what I did down here, I'm just going to come right up here to the top edge and do the same thing. Using my bow board, I'm going to try and cut parallel. Make sure I still like the way this looks. 
Oh, that's gonna be fantastic. So now with my glue gun, open up my alligator clip, place a dot of glue inside. Taking my 3 8 inch ribbon of matching color, I'm gonna come right in here and place the top part of my knot right inside and let it dry. Now I'm going to flip my bow over, take my 3 8 inch knot, just go straight down through the center. And make sure I like the way that that looks, and that does, that looks really sweet. So I'm just going to come back and do the same thing. A little dot of glue right here. And before my glue dries completely, I just want to turn my bow over and make sure I like the way this knot looks from the front. And I do, that looks awesome. So you can see I've got a little bit of tail right here. I'm just going to go ahead and trim him. I'm using my glider to seal this in. The only thing I think I want to change is just getting this little tail to be a little bit trimmer. So I want to keep my angle, but I want to make it just a little bit shorter. So I'm going to come over here and take about a fourth of an inch off. And reseal my end. Okay. Easy peasy. You can find all of these supplies used to make this bow and so much more at ribbonandbowsomy.com. Thank you guys so much for watching.